this is story of my life i never imagined that one book would change all my life I'm Sarah Champati and I work as a naturalist in the wildlife tourism sector. A good naturalist is somebody who who can give a a simple but an interesting interpretation of nature around him in in the national park or on a nature walk. Basically it's all about storytelling. How you make these otherwise complex things about nature into interesting stories. There's so much out there in the national park to show, to talk about. So the naturalists hold that key to that treasure. And there'll be a few percentage of guests, less than five percent, who actually realize that this is a life transforming experience for them. And these are the guests who become the true ambassadors for conservation and give us naturalists the utmost satisfaction. When we go on a vehicle in the national park. The whole forest is so fresh and beautiful in the mornings. A lot of birds are calling. There's a sunrise which you get to see. The anticipation of seeing a high-profile animal or a big cat is always there in Kabini especially. The actual sighting of a large cat like a leopard is like icing on the cake. Kabini is such a magical place. And when you're on the water on a boat, the entire experience is very very different. The elements are different because you are now on the water and expecting to see lots of birds and animals either on the shore or sometimes in the branches of the dead trees in the middle of the backwaters the kabani foundation is a small ngo me and my life companion indu set it up about 13 years back a scholarship program which helps students from the seven villages in the surrounding area a lot of us don't even realize that man is just one species among the 1.5 odd million species on this earth we have come very recently onto this planet earth in the cosmic calendar concept uh, of carl sagan the big bang happened on 1st of january and primates came on to earth on 30th of december followed by everything else on one day that is 31st of december and then modern human beings at 11:52 and can you believe it modern science and technology was born just one second before midnight so all this leads me to what a great red indian chief chief seattle said many years back that man did not weave the web of life he is merely a strand in it <laughs>